What's up, everybody? Uh, today, I was just going to make a quick video. I'm putting a Trimble SNR radio into a Komatsu I machine, little D51 PXI here. Figured I'd show the quick steps on how to do that. Uh, I'll edit in at the end here what it takes on the programmer side through WinFlash. you got to open the serial port. All pretty easy stuff, all readily available tools. Uh, so I'll show you guys this here real quick. I've already got this stuff plugged in. Obviously, it's not tied up. You guys can figure all that out. But inside the cab here, we got the MCR3 in the back. This metal cover comes off. If you can't figure that out, you probably shouldn't be doing this. Um, so once we have that off, there's a little cover down here, these two bolts. This cover comes off. And underneath there is a serial connector and two pin doits for your power. Uh, this cable is what we use to install these. This is available from Western States. Give Brett Dawson a call. It is, there's a part number somewhere, a 70406D. You can get that right off Western States. Uh, get you a couple of them for your machines, pretty easy. It's got a mil spec connector here that goes in the bottom of our radio. We typically just mag mount these onto the side of this case, just to make them easy in and out. If you do want to remove them, you can install them outside. That's why this cable's long, but I usually run them inside. Uh, small enough sites, we don't have an issue with the antenna being inside. If you did for some reason, Western States also has a cable. You can remove this connection right here. This is our antenna. This antenna on the iMachines runs outside to the top of the cab. If you've got a 915 Topcon antenna on there, you can get a cable. I can put the part number in the description, but it'll connect from the top of your radio onto this and you don't have to worry about it. and then you can have an external antenna keep the radio inside out of the weather but as you can see machine's not on and running but the display is powered up which powers up the mcr3 and gives power to our radio so once all that's in all you have to do to get your radio set up is come to our uh, gx55 here gx60 whatever you got go tools configure radios so now we need to set our radio to unknown external serial port C baud rate's really important we set that on the radio at 38400 and then whatever format you're running um, be aware if you're running with Trimble someone's running CMR plus you're not gonna get you're just gonna get GPS GLONASS um, I don't have a base set up right now to run this but so once you do that you hit OK and that'll save the configuration and then if we had a base we can come over here our light should start flashing just be aware you cannot run CMRX. MCR3s cannot decode CMRX. Um, uh, also, cannot change the radio channel through the GX55. Either got to do it through wind flash or the bag mounts are nice because you can just pop it out and hook it to a Trimble machine and go in and configure it that way. Or just change the channel on your base is what we typically do. So we'll label these as, you know, what channel they got them on. So a couple drawbacks, but all in all, if you're wanting to run with existing, existing Trimble fleet. Really easy way to do it, real reliable. Pretty simple. So like I said, I'll post in here at the beginning or end of this video how to configure the radio through WinFlash. Um, if you guys got any questions, leave a comment. Thanks.